like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystallize, fascinate. If you wanna stay alive, if you don't wanna be her prey, don't stand in her way. Run, run, run away. Crystallize, 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 watching her prey. Crystallize, crystallize. Morning everyone, welcome to uh, another video. Uh, it's about half past ten Sunday morning here and I've got about three things that I want to try and get done today. Uh, whether we have time or not, we don't know, we're going to try. First, most exciting thing, our second pump has arrived. So very similar to the one uh, that runs the hose pipe. This is the one that if you remember in the last video we said we we're going to try and run into the polytunnel. So hopefully we'll get that plumbed in today, that's very good. Uh, that will go on to the end of our automatic timer. Uh, haven't tried this yet, so we'll give that a go as well. Hopefully we'll get a video uh, and see how that's going. We've also got some electric cable that's arrived, uh, ready to do some lights. We've got some lights to put in here, some lights in the greenhouse and some more in the polytunnel. That's another job. And the final job that we're going to try and get done today involves some little net cups, if you've seen these before. Just little tiny things at the moment uh, and some buckets uh, I'll try and show you one of my buckets which are these things uh, more on these later uh, right now though let's let's go out and see what's growing and see what we've got let's have a, a walk out and see what's going on uh, around the allotment today uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a gray day at the moment um, it's nice and cool it's not too hot which is great for me uh, so we've got at the moment some our onions are growing nicely some weeding to be done <clears throat> little bits of growth on the lettuce and other bits as you will uh, as you will come to find out I'm, I'm not really a gardener and, and as I said in the previous video we are still learning on these things um, my wife and her family have have mainly done the planting so they know what they've put where um they've tried to put some stickers um i do know they're strawberries so that's a bonus we've got some rhubarb growing over the back there we've got some fruit trees uh this bed's got something in and we've got some flowers down at the far end not a lot going on in our potatoes at the moment. I think there is a little bit of growth, but other than that. So that's a little little whistle stop tour of the allotment this morning. <clears throat> um, the buckets that I showed you earlier, they're actually for this little thing that you can see that I've built in the polytunnel here. Um, I'll come on to that in a sec because I just want to uh, I want to check a few things and just make sure that it's going to work before I actually show you guys. Okay, so this, we're inside our fruit cage at the moment. Um, what I want to try and show you was, was this. Very simply, just a couple of bits of 2x4 with a piece of uh, rain gutter in the middle. Got a couple of pieces of acrylic on either end just to stop the water leaking out. Um, it's a scheme that was actually done by a guy called Larry Hall. US. Uh, find his YouTube channel. It's very, very interesting, very good. And what he did was basically put these this system together. He got a little ten liter bucket, drilled a hole in the bottom, and put the net cup on the bottom. The idea is the net cup sits in the gutter, and the bucket sits in the top. You put some peat in the bottom of the bucket with some compost, and then that allows the plants to draw as much water as it wants. Um, we have got a couple of extra bits to go on this, is a little ball valve float um, that will keep this full of water, we'll connect it to a water bucket uh, and just keep this full of full of water. Um, I reckon we can probably fit about six or seven of these buckets on top, so we're going to grow some tomatoes, maybe some peppers, um, I don't know what else yet, but I think it's going to live in the polytunnel. Um, but we'll find out, it's a challenge, hopefully we're going to get this uh, up and running today. Now one of the other things that I said we were possibly going to look at was the lights. Now, um, 
what I've done at the moment is I've just mounted a couple of MR16 bulbs in their little holders, uh, just mounted on a piece of wood with their trailing arms off the back. So I've put two that end of the shed and I've put two this end of the shed. Excuse my terrible video work. And then what we plan on doing is making one of these switches. Now, what I have actually done is I've already put that one on a switch. The plan today is to try and get the rest of them wired up and working. Uh, let me find the switch again. There you go. So the idea is to get those four wired up. We're going to put two in the greenhouse ready for winter. And we're going to put two all the way down there in the polytunnel, which means running quite a bit of cable. Uh, excuse the mess in the shed. Excuse the white cable. But we've got a box full of 50 metres of cable, so hopefully that will be enough to run down into the polytunnel. We will find out. That's the second of the day's jobs. And the last job today, hopefully, guys, is to deal with the, the automatic watering system. Uh, we touched on this in the last video. Uh, as I said earlier, the new pump has arrived. We've got our tubing, our nozzles, we've got our T-piece connectors. And we've got our little upstands that we can we can either drip feed um, or we can mist the polytunnel. So all of that's going to get wired in. The hose pipes already ran into the polytunnel. If you remember from the last video, this is the hose pipe there. That runs all the way through here. It goes through the greenhouse and it's dug in. It's dug in behind the fruit cage down here, and it goes all the way down into the polytunnel. Hopefully we can connect that in. Um, and again, we'll wire that pump into one of the switches. Um, we're going to have to label these because, to be quite honest, there's, there's three of us, four of us that use this allotment. And really, there's only me that knows which switch does what. So I'm going to have to label them. Hopefully, guys, that's going to be the third job today. Um, not sure how much video I'll get of all of this, but I will try. And I'll certainly try and give you a, an update at the end to find out what we've done and what we've accomplished. So let's get on with it. So guys, just to give you a quick a quick update of uh, where we are, it's uh, it's currently one o'clock now. Uh, we have the lights, we have them wired in. Uh, it's that button. No, it's not. It's that button. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'll show you what's just happening in a moment. So we have lights in the shed, all wired up and on a switch. And um, yeah, we've also got the second pump mounted. There's the first one. That's the new one. Uh, there is water coming out of that because I've just pressed the wrong button and turned that on and soaked myself. I told you I was an idiot in the last video. Um, what we've got left to do now is the timer is going to go up here. And we're going to connect the pump to the timer. Um, and then the, the bottom of the timer will go into the tube that goes into the polytunnel. I'll keep you updated uh, and see you in a second. Right guys, we've hit a bit of a problem. We have our pump installed uh, going into our container out the back, the IBC container. In fact, I'll show you that. Um, that's my doorstop. So we've got the pipe coming out the shed. We have two. One of them fits the, the tap and the green one goes into that system that we've just put in. So that green pipe comes through and into here which is great and then what we have is this pipe coming from there into our timer and then our timer as we know goes into the polytunnel through that pipe the issue that we've got everything was working great and fine and it was brilliant look at the state of the pipe the bulging and the bubbling in the pipe it's completely disfigured this hose this hose is not very good for pressure. Now the pump throws out quite a bit of pressure. Not great for hose pipes so I'm gonna to have to rethink that. Um, I don't know what to do. I may have to put some solid pipe so I may have to get some speed fit pipe that runs between the two maybe some plastic maybe even some copper. We've got a copper fitting on there. Just don't know. Uh, if anyone has any ideas of what I can do um, that would be great what I don't want is to not be here the idea is that this pumps gonna be running permanently onto that valve 
and it's the valve that will turn the pump on and off because the pump pressurizes the system. Once the pump releases the pressure, the pump turns on and starts pumping water. That valve shuts off, pump shuts off. So we want to be able to program this so that we're not here and we don't have to come down every day or if we do forget to come down at least the polytunnel the greenhouse is getting watered um so if anybody has any ideas of i mean look at the state of this pipe if anyone has any ideas of of how we can connect that pump and that hose it's only about a foot and a half distance not ideal so i'm gonna have to go away and think about that one um yeah not really sure Well, that's it for the day guys, um, disappointed that I couldn't get this in uh, and working but the hose pipes let me down, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, lights are in and working, um, possibly can't see that even going on but maybe. Uh, so the shed's got at least some, some light in now. Uh, the buckets, let me update on them, um, again because of, uh, of the way this is. Um, the idea was that we were going to drill some holes in the bottom of these buckets for the, the net cups. I can pop that there. The hole saw that I brought is a little bit big. Um, so the net cups are just going to fall straight through. So I'm going to have to bring up a smaller hole saw as well. Um, not really gone to plan today very, well, not very much. Um, anyway, I'll be back in a couple of days with uh, an updated video. Hopefully with this fixed or an idea of how to fix it and with these buckets and the net cups in um, I've got some peat ready to go in the bottom of those buckets uh, we've got lots of compost and topsoil we've got some pepper plants ready to go we've got some tomato plants ready to go in so hopefully we can at least get that bit done next time thanks for watching uh, if you do like the video please hit like if you want to see some more of these and follow our journey through this disaster at the moment <laughs> um, please hit the subscribe button we are only a brand new channel, um, we are hoping to do videos probably once every couple of days, once a week minimum, on a weekend I can get up here and, and, and try and give you an idea of what's going on. We are going to do some more uh, videos of actually planting and the gardening part of this. Um, at the moment we're just focusing a little bit on the build um, and what's going in. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe, please look after yourselves in this, uh, this time um, and I'll see you next time.